Hey guys, welcome to another episode of my channel. So today we are going to continue our story uh, about uh, USB connection with uh, Android device. And in previous two episodes I showed you the basic example of how this works. So in order to follow this tutorial it's uh, strongly recommended for you to watch those episodes. And today we are going to deal with first practical example. So what I actually want to build. I want to create Android application that is going to read some basic information from USB devices connected to it. So here in front of me I have a couple of uh, different USB devices. Later on when we finish coding I am going to test each one of them. And hopefully we are going to be able to uh, read uh, information like uh, device name, manufacturer name, version and something like that. And before we start first a uh, few words about this code in front of you. You can find this entire piece of code on my github page and the link is going to be provided in the description. And what I did in order to help you I made a copy uh, of uh, this code into a base example. So if you want to see original code uh, just uh, check this class and we are going to edit main activity. And the only thing that is different uh, from the code from our previous episode it's actually a design part. Let me show you activity main design. I just made uh, this uh, text view uh, bigger and with great background. Everything else is the same. So let's get back to main activity. So first thing let's uh, repeat uh, how this code actually works. So uh, first uh, we have let me show you on create method and in here we are uh, defining design variables. We are registering our broadcast receiver and we are defining our USB manager. Also you can find the code for send button and we don't need this code for this episode so I'm going to remove it. And then when you actually uh, attach USB device uh, this uh, on new intent is going to be activated. And in here we are actually uh, defining our uh, devices as list and we are setting pending intent uh, for permission request. And for this episode we are actually not going to need uh, this uh, second part about uh, USB detached. So I'm just going to remove this piece of code too. Okay, let's go up. We have a broadcast receiver in here and this part of code it's totally okay. This part of code is going to be activated when we uh, respond to permission request. And now the main part uh, method uh, connect in here. We have entire code that is uh, needed for communication and we have communication thread. We actually don't need this thread for this episode so I'm going to remove this thread too. And in here we are going to put our new code. So what I want? I want to present all of information in our text view. So I'm going to use text view set text. I'm going to make some space in here. And let's start with manufacturer name column. In order to get manufacturer name I'm going to uh, use device dot get manufacturer name and I want to make new line like this. Now second thing that we uh, need it's device name column plus device get device name and of course the new line. Now let's try with device version column plus device get not device version but version. Now product name plus device get product name and let's go with serial number plus device get serial number. All right, that's all. At the end I'm just going to do port close and connection 
close and this needs to be wrapped with try catch okay i'm just going to copy this method call in here and basically this is done now i'm just going to upload this piece of code to my device and later on we are going to perform testing okay my phone is connected i'm going to upload it all right it's done so let's do testing now so guys on the left you can see uh, my phone uh, with the application we just did installed uh, then uh, I have one uh, ESP8266 microcontroller, I have uh, one uh, ESP32 microcontroller, I have one uh, Arduino Uno and I have one infrared camera. So now uh, let's see what we are going to get from our application. So first I'm going to plug in my ESP8266. Let's see what we are going to get. Manufacturer name, null. Device name, device version, product name. And serial number also null. Okay. Now I'm going to try with uh, ESP32. Let's see. It's like this. Okay. And now I'm going to plug this microcontroller. All right, manufacturer name still null, device name, dev device version now we have a 444, uh, USB single serial and we have serial number. All right, and now I'm going to try to use Arduino Uno. Let's see, okay, so still nothing uh, with the manufacturer name, device version, product name, USB 2 serial, serial number, null. And let's see about this infrared camera. Okay, expressive systems, device version 1.0, tiny thermal imager, and serial number 01. So guys, that's all for this episode. Uh, thank you for watching. Please like, subscribe, and see ya!